and welcome to our Signal 4 customer journey series. Today we're going to go over inviting, editing, and deleting users from your subscription as well as creating, editing, and deleting teams from Signal 4. So first up you'll see here that we have loaded up both the web portal and the mobile app on the right there. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and start inviting some users into my Signal 4 account. For Signal 4, all of your users are tied to an email address, so each user needs to have its own individual email address, and that's what we use to actually invite the user and denote each individual user. So first, let me go ahead and click on the Users button here in the web portal, and we'll see here that we have this Invite New User option. If I click on this and expand it down, we'll see that we have the ability to enter an email address, choose the team that the user's on, and then enter the user role for your user. So first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and invite another user here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter an email address, and then I'm going to leave it on the one team because I only have the one team currently. And for this user, I'm actually going to make him a team administrator. Now I can just go ahead and click on the invite, and then this will actually create an email and send it out to the input email address. And we'll see here that the user actually shows as being invited. And I can either resend or delete the user from here even before they're actually joined the team. Your users are going to receive an email that's going to look something along the lines of this. It's going to come through saying that here's your Signal 4 account. It's going to have a link for you to join and a password already created for your user. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and log in as this user to confirm this creation and actually get the user created in into our team officially. So now I've actually logged in as my user inside of another web portal. And if I refresh this page here, we'll actually see that this user now goes from being invited to actually part of the team. And because I have not logged into the mobile app, we see that I have no channels verified and a little orange icon saying that it does not have a mobile app assigned to my user. So now that I've invited the user, I can actually come in here and edit the user if I please. I can change the user role. Um, I can make them a scheduler or a user um, it, instead of the team administrator, or I can even make them a global administrator using this checkbox up here. And then I can save that. And now my user is a global admin and has access to all of our teams across all of our subscription. In addition to that, I can actually delete the user using this delete button right here. And I'm not going to do that right this second because I want to have the second user here to show you some of the other options we have. Now, one item of note here is you'll notice that if I go down to my user, all of my options are grayed out, and that would be because we do not allow a user to edit its own rights, and this is a security right to make sure that they can't accidentally take them out of the administrator and leave no global administrators on the team. So we don't allow you to edit your own rights at all. So next up, we want to actually head over here to the team section. And we'll see here that I have the one default team that I have, but I can click on this plus sign here to create a whole new team and give it the new name here. So let's go ahead and create an IT Ops team and save that. And we'll notice that when I do that, we get a whole new team secret for that team. And it defaults to having zero members because I don't have anybody on that team currently. However, if I go over here to the left hand side, I can go back to the user section and verify expand one of my teams and I can add a new team for the IT ops to one of my users which we'll do here to my new user and save that and now this user is actually on both teams and if I go back to my team section we'll see that now my IT ops has a member and if I click on the members option we'll see that this person is there in addition to that as you can see here, I can actually invite new users directly into this team if I'd like. So I can actually go ahead and decide it here and send out a new invite for another user. And again, we see that the invite was sent and we have the same options on this page as we did on the users page. I can resend or delete the user before they get it. However, what I would want to do is I'm going to go ahead and activate this user here as well. And now that this user is activated, if I go ahead and refresh my account, We'll see that this user is now an official user with the user rights and again has no channel because he hasn't actually logged into a mobile app or verified his voice or text number. So next up, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when I delete a user. So now that we've invited both users, you'll see that we have both of them on this team. One is the administrator, global admin, and one's just a user for this one in particular team.
And you'll notice that we actually have a remove button at the bottom when you're underneath the team options. And this allows you to remove a user from this particular team while still leaving him a part of the subscription as a whole so he can still be on any other teams that he's in. As a note, I cannot remove a user from a team if this is the only team he's on, as he does need to be a part of at least one team, as we'll see here. So I can't remove him. However, I could go to the user's profile and delete him, which we'll go over hat in just one second. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and remove this Dirt Act 99 as he is on both teams. So it'll allow me to remove him from this team. So now he's removed from the team. And if I go back to my teams page, you'll see that now my teams team has two users and my IT apps has one user, which will be my newest user. And my teams has my two older users. And if I go back to the user's profile, we'll see all three of my users here. And I can go ahead and delete this one user from the subscription as a whole, which will actually leave my one team empty. And that's OK for now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this user and remove him. And now we'll see that this user is completely removed from the subscription. If I go back to my teams, we'll see that the IT apps has no members because we deleted that user from the subscription. Now. We can actually do some of these steps on the mobile phone as well. So here on the mobile phone, you'll see here that I'm on duty on my one team. And if I click on the little team drop down, it's going to expand out my team, show my two users, and I'll have the same invite button that I had in the web portal. So if I click on the invite, I can select an email address and send out a new invite. And then... This works the same way as it did if I sent it through the web portal. So I got the email and I went ahead and accepted the email. And now if I go ahead and refresh my screen here and refresh my screen in the mobile app, we'll see that now this user is a permanent member of my subscription until he's deleted or removed. And he is on the Teams team because that's the team that my user was currently in inside the mobile app. And we see all three users on duty for that team now. And then the last thing I want to cover here is actually removing my teams. So if I go back into my IT apps team inside the web portal, we'll see that we have a delete button. And since I don't have any members of this team, it's not going to hurt anything if I go ahead and delete this team. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my team. And now we'll be back to just the one team with all three members on it. Just a quick and easy way to remove, add, and edit your teams from this page. And that's just a quick brief overview of the ability to invite, edit, and delete your users, as well as your create, new, and delete your teams through both the web portal and the mobile app. You can sign up for a free Signal 4 trial at signal4.com forward slash free hyphen trial hyphen test. And this is a completely free trial for 30 days with no credit card required. Thank you and have a nice day.